two two white guys making a podcast never been done it's so original it's brand new honestly we are pioneers we're visionaries i also have a truck of red pills coming to yeah we're pioneers to give to the audience we're pioneers and visionaries in much the same way that christopher columbus was a pioneer and a visionary right we've discovered podcasts for white guys <laughs> <We've> disco- <laughs> oh, but, but the thing is it actually was he thought he was we were going to india true we thought that we were going to do a bollywood film we ended up doing a podcast. I will call them podcasts because of iPods. But you gave us all Zooms. Podcast! Yeah. Not just Zoomcast. Yeah, Zoomcast sounds stupid. Do you even hear yourself right now? Isn't it crazy how a whole genre was started by an iPod? Because of pod? I mean, no, it, it would have been if you take me back to like 2002 and told me that this would be a whole thing. Yeah, but thinking about everything that Apple does being like paved with gold and everybody freaking out about every little thing and all the ways it's defined technology and industries and things like that. Like, nah, that that's just par for the course. Yeah, sorry. I, I agree because Apple is... I heard Apple is not the leading tech company anymore. It's I've heard Microsoft is ahead of them now. I mean, they always kind of... They, they've been leapfrogging for a while. But as far as, like, consumer tech, like, app, people flip out over Apple stuff. Dude. Uh, this is the gamer nerd in me. Okay. Did you hear Xbox games are coming to all platforms, including the Switch? Well, that's why Microsoft is the top company now. Yeah, because they, they're, they're not their Xbox deal. is not making any profits. So uh-huh. they're like, okay, new plan. Give everyone our games and more people play them, we sell more games. Yeah. And everyone's like, why haven't you been doing that? Because yeah, like, I know. Like, you know what Xbox Game Pass is? No. Basically, you pay like 20 bucks a month and you get every Xbox game from any system. Like, not all of them, but like mm-hmm. the big ones. Like, right. It's like hundreds of titles. I can play Halo. Anytime you want. Yeah. yeah. And you download them to whatever device it is. It's not like cloud gaming or streaming. You're like, you're playing those games. Right. Like, as long as you have the subscription. Right. But you can play. So, yeah. so you download it locally to your device. It's not a. Yeah. Okay. I, th- I think at least on the Xbox, you would download it. You would play it locally. Anywhere else. Well, because Game Pass does work with cloud gaming. So you can play it on your phone. You can play it on your Switch. You can play it on your PlayStation. Hmm. You can play it on your, on your PC, your Mac, your tablet, your car, your Tesla, your fridge, back yeah. your grandma's head, anywhere you think, you can yeah. play it. Your garbage disposal? It's like, oh, you're at your grandma's house? Tough shit. Turn on the TV. It's Halo time. Yeah. But I love watching Jeopardy. Shut up, Grandma. Trebek is dead. <laughs> He's well, in the ground. That's, that's all soon. Probably yeah. shouldn't. But it's okay because he was a great man. As far as we know, I don't know. He could have some skeletons in his closet. Yeah, I've, I've Frank, zero zero Frank, concept of Frank and Charlie. Yeah, is there? Do you know something about Mr. Beck? I don't know because I have zero concept of like his personal life. Welcome to the Zeitgeist Podcast. <laughs> my name's Nick. Uh, my name is Greg. Is this is this episode a Trebek episode? Do you have some secrets to share? Um, yes. If you. Spell his name backwards. It's k- k- t- that sounds right. I wow. was only thinking of K and T. You you heard it here first, folks. It's k- k- t- t- now reverse that. <laughs> Slow it down. It's me saying, "Hail Satan! Kill your parents!" Very slowly and very articulately. Lately, artic. Greg, I'm he, he <laughs> does it better backwards. You just just try it. You'll see. I can do the alphabet backwards, and I I. Uh. D- can you? The whole thing? C-Y-X-W-V-U-G-S-R-Q, then comes P-O-L-M-N-K-J-Y-O-X. Okay, I, I heard I, a Y in there in the but middle. But I got more than halfway through. <laughs> you did. And it's then been you, a couple yeah. years. That's, no, that is impressive to do that at all. I can't even start. I've never never done a field sobriety test, so I've never had to. They said just learn the song, but start with Z, and then it follows the same rhythm, except for L-M-N-O-P. True, but you still—I mean—you still have to reverse every letter that you're that normally goes after the other one. So it's like you got to work backwards all the same. It's, it sounds challenging. B- before we get started, do you want to know why I learned it backwards? It or, involves you. Oh, I, I thought it was because you got pulled over for drunk driving a lot. No, it's because back in senior year of high school or like freshman year of college, at least freshman year for me, it was it was a dark and Wintry night. Uh. You were doing. You were doing your vlog channel. Your everyday vlogs. Oh, dude. And you asked me yeah. for a week to cover for you. 
Oh, and yeah. I forgot the entire week because you said you wouldn't have your phone. Right. So I made seven shitty ass videos. <laughs> I didn't film anything. It literally was me saying the alphabet backwards into a microphone without any, just on a black screen with a smiley face on it. And I said, there's your video. And I learned it out of spite because I was so mad at like myself for not like yeah. doing anything. I, I vaguely remember that. I don't remember how I reacted to that. But I think you were like annoyed, but like didn't I think you were already like kind of checking out of your YouTube channel at that point. Well, and that's like I did it so when This was, I was like year two of your Right. Vlogging. I had been doing it for two years. So like for, for context for everybody, don't look it up. Um they're, they're going to, but don't look it up. Uh, when I was 17, I wanted to chronicle my entire 17th year of life uh, in a vlog channel. So I did daily vlogs for the whole year of from when I was 16 turning 17 all the way till I turned 18. And then I decided I'm going to just keep doing this thing. I had a, a few subscribers, got to a couple thousand at some point, And I was like, hey, man, I'm moving on up, right? And uh, so I just kept going with it. And then I got really sick of it because it's like it, it had been like two and a half years of daily vlogs, and I don't know about you, I don't know about you, but there's a lot of stuff that happens in a day, but very little of it is interesting enough to constitute a YouTube video, mm -hmm. and I had to find interesting stuff every day, and it was just like, it was too much. You think it was bad back then? Have you seen the landscape today? Oh, yeah. It is a wasteland of content. It's it's ridiculous, and, and then I thought, we thought it was so saturated then. We were like, man, like, These you guys know, have... 20,000 subscribers? Holy right. shit. Well, and we would like, <laughs> we would talk to each other about like our own YouTube, like lack of success and think, man, if we had just started in 2005 instead of in 2009. We did. And we started in 2009. And so we, we're like, we were too late. If we started in 2005, man, we could have done it. But then like, <laughs> we think about it, like it, it's, it's completely different now. We just didn't have, we just didn't have what it took. We didn't have the sauce. We just you know? didn't have the, like any like, Resource. We were like right behind, like right behind the threshold. We like were. we were just like a year earlier, and like we like found out about this stuff when we had the means to like drive. And this was like when we were mm -hmm. in high school when all this stuff was coming out. Yeah. So like drive around, had some money to spend, or like if we had a slightly bigger budget, we could have been smosh. What budget? We, that's what I mean. Literally, none of we us had, had a job. We had zero budget. But if we had a bigger one. Uh, maybe not Smosh. We could have been Ryan Higa. I wrote, <laughs> I wrote a script based on a dream I had. Oh yeah, and it was actually a really funny <laughs> script. I remember that one. But it was about a bar that at the time they already weren't selling it anymore. Oh, the hundred grand? No, the Kudos bar. Or Kudos. They that's stopped right. selling those like early two thousands. Yeah, I but don't, they were so good. Were I think so they good. would like just chewy chips ahoy, and they're chewy chips ahoy, chewy the, granola bars. Basically, I, I don't remember with like I don't more Kudos that much. Yeah. Anyway, it's let's, been 30 minutes and we haven't talked about anything that's going to hurt our existential thoughts. Let's let's get to the episode. And it's also been a long time for our listeners. Although maybe by the time they get to this one, it, it won't be that long. But um, by the time we are uploading these, it's been a long time. So yeah. thank you for your patience and continued support of the Zeitgeist podcast. Uh, Patreon link is in the chat or is in the, dis the description. We don't have a we chat. Don't, we don't have a Patreon. Maybe by the time this is uploaded, we'll have a Patreon and we'll... <laughs> <laughs> Mail us cash to P.O. Box Butthole Lane. In fact, send us merch, and we might send you cash back. Us? Send us merch? Yeah, the other way around. Yeah, send us whatever yeah. merch you got. That'd be, everybody that else, would be a cool concept. That's what I'm saying, right? Everybody else is like, send us money, we'll send you merch. We're yeah, like, we like might send you merch. No, no, or... send us merch, and we might send you money. Yeah, well, you send us merch, we'll review it. Like, just, <laughs> I don't care what it's for. Like, we'll see, we'll, we'll rate it, scale of 1 to 10. How good is this merch? I, I hope there's like some late '90s like Pokemon merch or like Sonic the Hedgehog or like just like the stuff that's like hard this to find. This just turns you know? into antique road show, but for like YouTuber it's, it's a, merch, like dude, oh, this is a vintage PewDiePie T-shirt. That's we. we <laughs> oh could, my god, that's we could such be, a good idea. We could be the internet antiques road show, dude. Oh my god, this is this was a limited edition YouTube YouTube's vinyl figure yeah. that they did with the creator. What's a controversial creator? Uh, I mean, there's a lot, but Onision. Uh, Miranda. St oh, that's a good one. That, that's the most controversial. No, you, I can think no, of. Well, U2's wasn't out when Onision was a thing. Do you know what oh, U2's is? I thought you meant U2 the band. I don't know what U2's is. No, that was the infection on everyone's iPhone. 
Yeah. Hey, man, their music is good. People are haters. It was free music. You're welcome. You too? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Told you. I've, I'm feeling it today. Yeah, no, you're good. Um, but you 2 is like Y-O-U-T-O-O-Z. It, they work with YouTubers to make, like, basically their version of a Funko Pop, but better, like, actual uh, detailed, like, little I figurine see. of the YouTuber. And then I see. put, like, little Easter eggs about what they do and, like, um, a lot of the YouTubers... Is Shane Dawson still controversial? Yes. The, he, well, he's Sure, that, that one. Let's he's say Shane very Dawson. controversial because him and his husband just adopted babies and everybody's... It's weird. Anyway, I don't want to talk see. about it. I don't, I don't know the story. But, you know, this idea, this is how these great things start. We should start a podcast. Oh, my God. Yes. We start a <laughs> podcast on the podcast. We just came we full circle. We have a smaller podcast the- set on the table. <laughs> we, have tiny, we have tiny little people that we do. <laughs> we, have like a, we have like tiny little merch and tiny little people. It's like that, that are- SpongeBob episode where he can't go to the Krusty Krab, so he plays with the Krusty Krab. Exactly. They kick him out of that one. He has a smaller <laughs> yeah, play set inside of that one. play set. Oh. And they have YouTuber merch that they're revealing. <laughs> no, I just, I just wanted to come full circle to the cold open again. Um, I forgot what it was. It was about how we invented podcasts for our guys. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, let's talk about the episode. You guys are here for conspiracy stuff, yeah, so let's, let's get into it. Let's talk about holes. Not the movie. No, not the movie. But of course. Who kinda. would think that? Great movie. I'm thinking about other holes. Yeah, I'm always thinking about holes. Raise your hand if you're thinking about a hole. Bet you are now that I said it. You got me. Try not to think about your hole. Which one are you thinking of? You got seven of them. One, nostrils, one, Dude, two, three, oh, that four, is, five, six, seven. Yeah. Seven. Yeah. Yeah, no, you're right. And girls have eight. Yeah, that, that, that tracks. That makes sense. The secret pee hole. Yeah. Today we're talking about Mel's hole. What is Mel's hole? Okay, so this is more... So I've... I went through, and I have since categorized all of my types of conspiracies I bring to the table. We've got a light roast, which is okay. in, intriguing and mysterious. Weird stories, <laughs> unexplained mysteries, things that don't make sense, but you're like, oh, whoa, that's so crazy. Yeah. Then we got medium roast, medium bolt. These will make you question your place in the universe. Apoco- apocalypse scenarios, end of the world scenarios, simulation scenarios. Are you real? Mm-hmm. Are you currently in a simulation? And is that simulation you floating in a tub of cum? Who knows? But it's probably true. Who's come? That's the mystery. <laughs> and you'll never know because you're in a simulation. Exactly. Wow. But think about it. And that's, you... Wait, that's a medium roast? What's a bold roast or a dark roast? Um, probably ones that involves a lot of like actual like death and very uh, like covering real topics like cults and like like um what was the whole category we gave for our real stuff? Minesweeper. Like, Mind, mine, like stuff that was, okay. like, confer- real things. Not, so, like, speculation, but things like, hey, the government said we have this heart, like, attack gun. Like, right. holy shit. Like, yeah, stuff no, that's, that, like... that's a dark... I, I kind of flip between light and dark roasts, I'm realizing. I don't really do medium. But, but you do. So what's this one? Is it light, dark, or medium? Well, so we record these in chunks. So this is a light roast. Okay. Getting this warmed up. So yeah, Mel's yeah. Hole. This is... Um, I would say, like, not a very, not super well known, but I'd say, like, anybody in the conspiracy world has probably heard this, like, mystery. It's it's weird, and uh, it's fun. Yeah, I know. I totally know about it. I'm well connected in the conspiracy world. Anyway, this is about a man named Mel Waters, and he lives in America somewhere. In a hole. By a hole. By a hole, but not in the hole. No, he's not in the hole. Does That's he enter the days. hole at any point in this story? Actually, no. He never enters any holes. Interesting. But he, Okay. Anyway, this man named Mel Waters. This came to light if um, bef- pre-internet days, whenever you wanted to absorb information, you got off TV and radio. So back in, the 19, back in 1997, there was a very popular radio show. I bet you know it. Uh, I might. It was Coast to Coast with Art Bell. Oh, yeah. 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 So, like, that's where all the conspiracy nuts would hang Dude, out before 100%, 100%. the internet. 100%. They'd call in, and Bell would just let you talk about whatever you wanted to talk about. Yep. So, no rules. No limits. So this guy called in February 21st, 1997, 
talking about in on his property. I think it, w- it was. I, I, why doesn't it enlist? It's in Native America. It's next to or in a Native American reservation. So I think more like the Midwest area. Okay. Like maybe like uh, Iowa, Idaho, maybe Oklahoma, something like that, or or maybe like Montana or something. I don't know. He had a big piece of property, and as long as for as long as he had known, there is a giant hole. Like when you think of a hole in the ground and like somebody's like acreage of like land, you think of just a big hole in the ground. Like big yeah. hole in the ground about the size of this room. Oh, that is a big hole. Maybe even bigger. I'd say I think it was 30 feet by like 30 feet, like in diameter. 30 really? feet in diameter. Something like that. But so this guy, for it's been in his like this property's been in his family for a long time. He's lived there like his whole life, and he's like in his late forties. And he's just and them and his surrounding like Neighbors all use this hole basically like as a trash dump. Like you can't see the bottom. It's so deep and dark. Really? And one day he takes his trash, chucks it in the hole, and he stops and he realizes for the first time he has never once heard anything hit the bottom. So he threw it and he went, wait a minute. And he stood there for 10 minutes. Nothing. So. Is this the solution to like all of our climate woes? Could we just throw anything and everything into this hole? Nuclear waste? Like poop? Poop? <laughs> Do they throw poop in there? <laughs> the glasses. <laughs> I, I love mean, having if we, visual gags. If we don't, if we don't have a video, then I mean, you won't see how funny that was. But <laughs> go ahead. Yes, there will be poop. Good. Good. But I'm just saying, could we, could we in theory, if this is just a completely bottomless black hole on Earth... Could we just throw all of the poop and waste and whatever into this hole and save the ozone layer? Yeah. I bet we could. If we all agree to fart into the hole, then the methane won't rise up to the ozone. How am I supposed to fart in a hole if it's already coming out of a hole? Well, just, like, if you need to fart, you've got to go to Mel's place, right? Just hold it. i got to hold it. Hold it on a flight? Yeah. Just hold it. And then when you get there... You just you just let it rip. Okay, before we do that, we gotta finish Project Stargate. Right. Warp, that's yes. Yeah. Teleport. Everyone like, oh, you gotta go. It's like, oh, you have your fart porter. So you fart. So you fart into the teleporter. Yeah, you oh, just hold that's even up. Better. So think of just like a portal gun, but for your butthole. And you can just poop and just it's and just you gone. just it just goes away. Dude, imagine a world without plumbing. It's just everyone's got a little portal. And they don't know where it goes. I just realized this is a ter- This is a, a, a scare- dangerous idea. Oh, it is. Absolutely. What's going to come out of the hole? One, one day, you're just going to mm-hmm. be pooping. What's going to come back one day? And, and it's going to be upset. It's going to be angry. Yeah. Because you've been pooping on it. And it's going to be... Like, <laughs> it's going to be... It's either going to be really pissed <laughs> yeah. that you're pooping on it or really pissed that you're going to stop. Or... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> or I was thinking it could be like a, like a Rick and Morty, like, you know, pocket dimension kind of thing, right? Like there's a small civilization of people and like for whatever reason, the sky just opens oh. up and rains down brown rain. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> you were getting pretty close to the real story before the brown rain thing. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, yeah, sorry. Continue. I shouldn't hijack this. I mean, it's not, it, it's not a, there's a lot about this and it's, I think for the most part, it's been like 80% debunked. At l- so you're saying there's a chance. You know what? I say less than that. I say maybe like 40% actually. Oh, there's a really good chance. Yeah. I'd say it's most likely not real. It's not what he's claiming, but I think it's something is going on, but it's not as like extensive as like he claims it to be. Okay. But so after he realized nothing was hitting the bottom, he's like, okay, well, I was like, I want to test. I need to see how long this is. So he is... He's a guy living on a large amount of land mm-hmm. in the middle of America. He's got a tool shed of stuff to like oh. do this. So he's got sure. thousands of like uh, yards of, of fishing line. So okay. he gets his fishing rod, ties all these spools together, and he puts some weights and uh, lifesaver candies at the end of it to see if there's water at the bottom. So when it hits the bottom, they'll dissolve. Did he put a hook at the end? I don't know. What a pessimist if he didn't. Because you're thinking, I mean... If you're, if I'm throwing fishing line, down you want to go something. in swinging to the fish. I'm saying if there's, if if I've got the line, I'm already throwing it down there. I'm already weighing it. I want to see what I can pull back up. I'm putting a hook on there. You know what I'm saying? I, I mean, yeah. 
Or no, a magnet would be better. Magnet. Oh, magnet. I, That's a good idea. I've gone down the TikTok rabbit hole of magnet fishing. It looks so fun. I've gone magnet fishing. Really? It is, is it yeah. fun? Yeah, you, you get almost nothing of value, but Aww. it is still fun. I always see the TikTok ones like, I just found a World War II grenade. I'm like, right. what? Yeah, they, but, they pull up like literally just a chest full of gold coins, and it's like, you know, from a Spanish galleon. And yeah, no, that doesn't happen. You find like... Just whatever random crap falls into the lake. <laughs> I did I did learn a lot of those are fake. There's one YouTuber I watch. I forget his name. He's one of the bigger. He's a bigger one of these guys that kind of started this trend. He scuba dives and, like, rivers and stuff and just finds, like, phones and rings and watches. That's and he's cool. just, like, hey, it's he's, like, posting in the thumbnail, like, <laughs> made a million dollars. Yeah. Oops. No, nah, it's, fine. it's, it's I was, fine. I was just swimming down here at the river and, you know, I just... Came across some stuff and thought, that's pretty cool. I'm going to kick that. And, uh, well, here we are. Yeah, now I'm a multimillionaire. Now I drive me a Lamborghini. <laughs> <laughs> a Lamborghini. I'm assuming this guy's in Florida or something. I don't know. I, he goes all over the world. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> this guy throws his fishing rod at the bottom of this well. Uh, one... He uses all. He uses eighty thousand yards of fishing wires. Holy crap! Some feet, not yards. I'm sorry. Feet. Uh, I was gonna say, but still. Yeah, and so and and the 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 candy didn't get sucked on by no water. Hmm. It was. He's like, what the? F-? He's like, what's going on? So at this point, he's confused, and he asks his neighbors, like, do you remember anything about this hole? And they didn't really seem to care, and they're just like, he's like, you know nothing. You can't really hear the bottom. Like, well, maybe it like. Um, maybe like it gradually like inclines like yeah. in like the cave like changes like direction and like it hits the side and slides along so you don't really hit you don't really hear anything. There's a lot of reasons as to why you maybe, can't hear it. Maybe, maybe there's it's a bunch re- of mattresses and pillows at the bottom. Maybe people know? are down there catching them. Yeah, you never know. It's it's reptilians actually. Hey, yeah, yeah, they're just eating your trash. But yeah, this, he was confused by it. So after doing that experiment, he. Oh, so after he did more experiments, he uh, called some scientist people, and they were like, I don't know. They also were getting weird, like, radiation readings around this thing. And um, after, like, he did some testing, and then it kind of, like, was like, oh, whatever. It's not that important. So then a couple years go by. Mm. His, do- his dog that he's had passed away. Mm. So. He throws like, him in the hole? Throws him in the hole. Of course he throws him in the hole. Oh, oh. this is a pet cemetery thing, isn't it? Sorry, go ahead. I shouldn't say anything anymore. I want. I want to be. I want to be surprised. You're really guessing well today. I'm trying. Um, but yeah, a week later, he sees his dog with the collar of his dog, like walking. Like he like was on his porch. He saw like his dog walking down like the gravel path. And he's like, Buster, and the dog like turns and he's like, Buster, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> And he he just and so the but he calls I mean, him. Freak out. Yeah. He looks at him, but the dog looks scared and runs off. Like he knows it's hmm. his name, but it's like what is going on? Hmm. Hmm? Hmm. Hmm? So at this point, he starts like. Uh, that's when he went on coast to coast, and after he hmm. went on coast to coast, he started talking about all this. Uh, another caller said, "Hey, if this is real, you probably shouldn't be announcing this to the public because, what like." That's kind of dangerous to like. The next day, men in black show up at his front door. Seriously? Yep. And they were like, We are taking your property. We're not like offering you anything. We are taking it, and you don't have a choice. In so they, domain, son. So they kicked him out, and he was like, This is, in, this is ridiculous. You can't do this to me. Um, they threatened him they said he's like i'll go to the press i will do this and they go it's they said okay you do that maybe we find a meth factory on your property Hmm. maybe we find a body and who's gonna believe you otherwise wow the government knows you can't do shit because nobody's gonna believe you and is that the end of the story as we know like the government took it and Nobody knows anymore? <laughs> no way. <laughs> We're not even halfway through, baby. Let's go. So they take his land, kick him out, and he's basically just um, 
he, he had to move. He lost all his possessions. They demolished his house. He lost his job. And he basically became homeless and uh, just was couch surfing and began just trying to get to the bottom of what was going on. So he would go by his property and every time they got like within 10 miles, there are like fences, military people guarding this place. And at the time, it there, there was a, before Google Maps and like satellite view, the earliest version of this program was called Terra Server. And you could like get satellite images. Like it was really rudimentary. Mm -hmm. This specific place was blurred out. Really? On that. So there's like other places that are top secret that were not blurred out, but this one was? No, like the typical, like normal, like military, like known military bases were blurred out. Gotcha. And like known places that are supposed to be blurred out were blurred right. out. Okay. This was too. Interesting. And like other, I, I don't, I don't know if there were other random places that were blurred out that people didn't know, but this exactly his property was blurred out, and that program didn't come on, wasn't released until like nineteen or like two thousand two, and he reported this in ninety seven. So like, there's no way he could have like been like, oh, I'm just gonna say there's something cra crazy going on, like right. They, everyone's like, okay, the reason they blocked that was because of this hole. Mm -hmm. So after the military took it over, and after he did his research, do you know what he went on coast to coast again and talked about and discovered? Uh, I'm just going to let you tell me because I've been guessing too close to the truth, and I don't want to know. Well, one, how do you think his dog came back to life? My my initial thought, yes. just from being on this podcast for as many years as we've been doing it, yes, um, parallel version of his dog from a different dimension is my thought. You you win a Kit Kat bar. You're correct. See, and that's why I didn't want to guess because I was like, I've been. You're very good at like we've been reading doing this too going. long. You I mean, know? like I mean, we pretty much like it was assumed that he came from an alternate dimension, a right. different version of his dog. That's why he was like. He knew the name, but was like, that That guy is off. Mm -hmm. Uncan yeah, that's maybe not like my Uncanny owner. Valley to the dog was like, that's yeah. a little weird. Yeah. Like maybe oh, he's yeah. from the universe where humans have, like, penises for noses or something. That's that's this one. What? <laughs> you didn't. I'm, I'm going to stop. <laughs> what? <laughs> I've been doing it wrong. <laughs> so when I had a runny nose last week. Oh, jeez. I was pissing up my nose. <laughs> I, I look in, at the mirror. Incontinence of the nose. I I look. I like run to the mirror and I'm like, no, no. It's like no. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I had to come to this realization. It's not that. It's also small. That, that's that's why. Uh, that's what happened in 2020 when we shift timelines. That's why we needed the masks to hide to every, hide our our junk, our, our penis, our penis nose. Penis. <sighs> so then, what happened, Nick? <laughs> I'm now just. Thinking about the logistics, like Squidward would be very popular, but maybe oh, yeah. no, maybe they don't work the same as in this universe. Maybe they don't. Maybe they don't. Because yeah. like having like sex would be weird. It would. Unless... Look like a woodpecker. Well, it depends. <laughs> <laughs> well, just look. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you like that baby? <laughs> like freaking Pinocchio. See that joke's been that joke's been done though with the Pinocchio one, and yeah. it's disturbing because you forget. That he's a boy. Pinocchio's a child. True. Everybody stop. I'm looking straight into this camera. I don't know if it's on, but if it's you, stop. I'm calling the police. He is. I'll do it. All right, let's continue. So, after a long time, and he was like, okay, there's something weird. This is an extra dimensional hole. How, what do we do? So, he's homeless. He... Um, is trying to look more into it. He's getting more inquiry, inquiries. So at, at some point, like, he's, again, established himself. He's not, like, homeless anymore. He's, like, mm -hmm. trying to get to the bottom of this. Like, I don't think he's, like, dedicated his whole life to it, but he's still, like, trying to... Well, I'd want like, to Like, kind of, like, figure it out. He's like, hey, the U.S. came in and basically took everything from me. Right. I'd want to know for sure. So the men in black come back again, and they're like, hey, stop it. Quit looking into it. And he's like, No. And they're like, what about $3 million a year? He's like, okay. Glad he, glad he held out, man. That's a yeah. way better deal. But they didn't offer him that until after 
he woke up um, from in South America while from being in America 12 days after like he got attacked by someone woke up in South America no keys no wallet no shoes no shirt no no identification his back t- molars were missing oh so and the and apparently people said the reason they did that is so like if when he when he dies they cannot identify him via dental records right yeah. cuz they, they were the dentist didn't take those molars it was the tooth fairy. It was the tooth fairy. <laughs> With today's modern technology, kids aren't kids aren't losing their teeth as fast. Right. We gotta move. And Sing I'm out of Colombia. And I'm hungry. Oh yeah, we eat the teeth. We got we got <laughs> tooth tooth farms in Colombia. Tooth? <laughs> Ew. We, yeah, we just capture people and take their teeth. We no, we grow teratomas. Do you know what a teratoma is? I don't know what a teratoma is. It is a mass of cells that can form any like human oh, like thing. Yeah, those like, are gross. Even like eyeballs and Yeah, like, that's gross. Yeah. But they can be used to be good. Like, hey, yeah, you want an arm? I, I I could use another arm. Okay, okay. So we have this one. That'll do. Now I know it looks like a chicken leg, but it's it's really nice. <laughs> yeah. It's the best model we've got. And guess what? One hundred percent raw. Oh. Oh, it also it looks. It looks like it contains salmonella. Oh, sounds like a great guy, Sal. Well, I mean, love love to have a friend. Yeah, like and Sal. yeah, he'll he'll be with you. <laughs> yeah, be with you a while. I'll take it. All right, good. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know where that went. So after all this happens, he's like, "What the fuck do I do?" He's in South America. He gets approached by a Spanish man from Spain. Not. Uh. In- not Spanish. He's Spanish. Spanish. So he's like, yeah. is it in bad taste to say? I, you know what? I, whoever's editing this, please cut this out. Is it, is it disrespectful to say that Spain people from Spain are the fancy Spanish? I mean, no, because it was kind of intentional. They, it they sounds did, like everyone they, like in Latin American countries are like not well, well off. It sounds bad. It's think of it like like. UK English versus like American English. Like UK English didn't always sound like that. They intentionally practiced speaking in a way of like the aristocracy to elevate their station, right? So it's right. called received pronunciation. That's why British people drop their R's. That's why they they, you know, say goofy, goofy little things like that. Spain did the same thing. One of their kings uh had a lisp and that was like, you know, they wanted all to be more like the king. And so oh they God. they intentionally started speaking that way, and it like elevated their station. Because I mean, let's be real: like if they were to just speak normally, they would not sound like that. Neither would the British. You know. I love how so many kings just like change human history for like hundreds of years because they're like these kings are like sixteen and they're like I don't like that. Everyone talk like this now. Yeah, like, honestly, yeah. It's like, and then the world language changed. From yep. there, like, what the hell? Like, if I, I had that kind of power, it's like, everyone now has to walk with a limp. Then just evolution People would turns you into having a limp. Yeah, everyone's leg would be shorter. One leg would be significantly shorter Well, everyone's shorter than the leg, other. one is shorter than the other. But, like, significantly, like a foot. Uh, oh, my God. Yeah, like like they cut off their foot. It's oh. missing <laughs> a foot. No, I... <laughs> I, don't I was know. thinking like an actual leg. No, of that that foot. is what I meant. But then I decided to just change it. I don't know. I'm I'm, I'm improving. No, that was a good. I I I did not yes and you. I yeah. but no to you. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I would love to see an improv like routine where it's instead of yes and it's but no. It's like we're going to the ice cream shop, but it burned down. Yeah. That would be that'd be a real anti joke kind of improv, wouldn't it? Like the classic, like what's green and has wheels. I don't, I don't know. Grass, I lied about the wheels. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. That's anti jokes. Yeah. Anyway, lo- we we should we should get back to this story. Mel's hole is just distracting us today. Yeah. God, I'm so distracted by so, Mel's hole. Yeah. But I do want to know what happens next. So South America. Yes, right? somewhere in South America, he's then approached by a a Spanish person. Who is a member of a tribe called the Basque? They live in mm-hmm. a small community in between um, Spain and France. They have their own hole. Oh, and this one is a little different. It's a lot smaller. It's about the size of this table, which is like mm-hmm. maybe like five feet 
diameter. Yeah. yeah I'd say like five feet. But it had like a metal like rim, like kind of like a manhole, but like bigger than a manhole. Mm-hmm. Like, and was lined with metal as far down as you could see. And it like emitted a heat. It was it was a different hole, a warm yeah. hole. It also yeah. didn't make any noise. Interesting. One day, like so they were like, hey, we heard you had a hole. Come check out our hole. Right. And he's like, okay. And he did. So this is the part of the story where I think things get a little embellished. It and you'll see already. you'll see why it gets crazy. Okay. So this hole, they ain't your normal hole. So what they what uh, they they got this American man to come in, drop stuff in this hole and see what happens. So what mm-hmm. they put in this hole, how they test it. So they were building these contraptions to lower things into the hole. Mel, I'll drop the accent. <laughs> Mel <laughs> drops a, a tool on the rim of this hole. When it hit it, it didn't make a single noise. It was just like like, but not even a thud, just like nothing. He was like, that's weird. That is weird. So one time they're like, okay, let's, uh, it, this hole feels warm. Let's lower a bucket of ice down there and see how fast it takes to melt. The Science. first time, yeah. So the first time they did, so they did it a couple times. So I, I think like 10 times. And on the 10th one, when they brought the ice back up, the ice was on fire. Oh. And it never stopped burning for months. The, the bucket of ice. The bucket of ice. Maintained. It, it stayed on fire for months. It stayed on fire for months, yes. I see. And everyone's like, huh. Weird. It goes against and all s- entropy, yeah. but yeah. And some random guy from the town was like, oh, I'll use this to heat my house and just put it in his house like as a centerpiece or something. I mean, I would. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty sweet fine. Remember this because that bucket of ice comes back later. Oh, good. Yeah. That is our MacGuffin. I love <laughs> I love when we have a recurring character from an earlier season. Yeah. Think of like the Transformers All Spark, ours is bucket of flaming ice. All right. And not that it's gay, it's that it's on fire. Nobody thought that, but I'll let you work out your issues. I thought it. Why did I think <laughs> that? Am I gay? Were all the kids in high school right? Was me having a high voice meant I'm gay? They knew it. I, had, I knew it. I had blonde hair and a high voice. Gay. It's. I mean, that's that's the code, isn't it? It's like, damn it. <laughs> now, I love penis. Shit. <laughs> How do I... A lot to reconcile. We'll do that offline when we're not recording. <laughs> Here, give me your penis. Let me post it to the test. <laughs> Hurry, whip it out! I need to see! So, I mean, I, I do want to get back to this. This will be a brief aside, but you you introduced me to Game Grumps. Oh, and yeah. And I, I, I don't, like... I don't watch them a lot, but I've watched a couple of, like, their, like, best ofs, because they're just so funny. And there was one... It's definitely um, where I get my humor from. Right, for sure. Uh, there was one. I'm trying to remember what. Uh, what's what's his name? The grumpy one. What's his name? Aaron. Illiter- Aaron. Aaron. Anything yeah. you ask me about game rooms, I will know. I know yeah, everything about them. It's so, scary. So Aaron was was talking about. He was talking to to Dan, who's the other guy, and he was like, "Yeah, you know, sometimes like our friends and I, ever since high school, we've done this like once a year. We'll all just kind of get together in a room and everybody just take their penis out." Oh my god! And, you watched uh, the D Club stuff? Uh, what? No. What? Okay, go on. Sorry. Oh, D Club. I think said D Glove, and oh, I was like, God, I was no. Like, no, no, D Club. Yeah, exactly. And so he's like, he's like, yeah, we just whip it out just to like make sure we're not, you know, nothing's changed, make sure we're not gay. And so we <laughs> just all so s- stand for a couple seconds, look at each other, and be like, yep, still not gay. And they, they put him away. And he was like, there's no way you do that. And he said, talk to my wife. And he asked his wife, and she's like, yeah, <laughs> You're leaving in the yeah, room. I know. It's like, yeah, yeah, he does. <laughs> he comes back. He's like, oh my god. <laughs> anyway, it made me think of that. It's funny because that was like in their early years. Now he'll like bring it up. He's like, still waiting on that invitation. <laughs> it's like, what? You've seen my penis. He's like, not officially. <laughs> no, but not as part of it's the like club. on tour. Like, like they'll be in the bus and like yeah, stuff will happen. Sure. It's like, it's like <laughs> I haven't been invited to look at your penis. I've only seen it by accident while hot. Not what I want. <laughs> uh, it's anyway, like, it's like we must please the fan fiction writers. Oh, and I'm sure that they had a heyday with that. Oh, yeah. I'm sure. Oh, yeah. People ship them all the time. Mm-hmm. Anyway. And yeah, that's a, that's a good one. You know they yeah. made a limited edition Letterman jacket that said had a D-Club patch on it? I did not know that. I almost bought it. It was like 120 bucks, but I was like, that's so good. That's pricey. That's hey, so good. somebody send us that merch. We might send you money for it. We'll review it, and I will keep it. Yeah. Anyway, back to Mel's hole. He's studying this little hole. They have flaming ice. It's Getting crazy. So, now what do they test? Well, he remembers. My dog came back to life. Let me throw a person in here. 
Yeah, kinda. A someone small was, child. No, someone from one of the tribe members was like, oh, I'll go in there. And everyone was like, no, 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 no. Don't do that. It's mm-hmm. weird. The hole is a weird hole. He's like, but mm-hmm. I, no, no, no. Don't go in yeah, there. Don't, don't go in there. So they decided on putting a sheep in there. Ah. That sheep did not want to go in the hole. So they well, had to. No kidding. They had to restrain it in a crate because unrestrained, it would smash the crate to the point of injuring itself to get out. Maybe they should have second guessed putting the sheep in the hole. Well, spoiler alert, the sheep does not survive. Well, yeah, but I'm just saying. Maybe I thought about, like, man, this this is not a good idea if the sheep is fighting this hard not, not to go in here. Yeah. I mean, respect the hustle, but you're going to die. Yeah, right. I mean, yeah, one way or another, you're going in. I mean, so they lower the sheep in there about, like, 100 feet down, and it's freaking out, and eventually it stops moving, and then they hear, like, a, like a hum. They pull the sheep back up. It's dead, but it's warm. And... They realize it has been cooked from the inside out, almost like it was in a microwave. Ah. Thus the humming. Ah. I was thinking like a shredder. I was thinking it would be like. I feel like they'd be more like. Yeah, like that's more true. Like it would, squawk, it, squawky. It would be, it would be squishy. Not, not pleasant. Squelchy, squelchy. But so there's a there's a small microwave oven in there, is what we're saying. Well, that ain't small. Well, small relative to the size of the hole. Yeah. Unless it I mean, is, the, I don't know. I mean, they don't know what happened. I don't know. I mean, anyway, they cut the sheep open because they're they're like a, a tribe town, so they they breed sheep to eat and they to would use. like to eat. Yeah, so the the, this guy comes up like, oh, I got it. So he like whips it up there, the whole butcher style, yeah. chops it up, slash it open. All of the insides of the sheep have been converted into a mass of tumor. Oh, and spoiler alert: it's not a tumor; it's an egg, a uh, fleshy egg. What? Yep. Tell me more, please. Well, the egg is pulsing. And that, fleshy and stinky. That doesn't give me much more to it, it does it does color it a little bit, but could you could you tell me why there's an egg in a mammal that Well it's like a fleshy mass egg. I I <gasps> I want you to try and guess what comes out of this egg. A Try and a guess. A clone of the exact sheep that went in, like like Dolly. No, we already, oh. yeah, we did that already. Yeah, no, we did. Um, it's, this wouldn't be on the podcast. That's just, the cloning is like I a I mean, Tuesday I'm now. assuming an alien. I mean, technically correct, which is the best kind, but. De- yep. Yeah. Is it um, a tiny, a tiny gnome? No. No. Uh, Platypus. Closer. I am. I'm not giving you any. I'll give you three more guesses. Okay, three guesses is a lot for me. Okay, I'll give you two. Okay. <laughs> All right, I Make it five. Yeah. Uh, no. Okay. Two guesses. Two guesses. It. It. It was a. A, a, a robot. Farther. You okay. were closer with platypus. I was closer with platypus. Uh, There's a lot of flesh, a lot of... Okay, no hints. No hints. Like uh, like another sheep, but inside out. Closer. Well, that's all my guesses. So what was in the egg? Um, A seal fetus? At least that's what they like to assume. Oh. It was like shaped like a seal fetus. Oh. Plopped out of this thing, or, or, ordered its way straight to the hole, looked back... Winked, hopped in the hole. Raised a middle finger, did a backflip into the hole. <laughs> Put on sunglasses, <laughs> freeze frame in the air. Lights a cigarette, and it does this big, like, high dive. It actually climbs up a ladder, high dive, you know, triple back full into the hole. And then does the song from NCIS. Wow! Yeah, exactly. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> but it didn't wink, but it literally, yeah. like, like, waddled over to the hole. This, like, gross fetus mass. And, like, looked back as if to say, like, thank you, and, like, jumped in the hole. We're starting to feel a little further from the truth here. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Well, good news. Magic seal fetus thing. He will return in the next Marvel installment. Oh, okay. (laughs) Hey, but remember that MacGuffin I told you about? Yeah. The flaming bucket bucket of ice? ice? Yeah. Remember that guy that's like, I'm going to take this home. Yeah, he got cancer. Yes, but... The, not because of that. Oh. He got. He did but get he cancer. Also happened to get, he oh, did end up getting cancer. Oh, that is. <laughs> and that so is did sad. Mel. But that's different. Okay. So he 
to, so he was using the fire as like in his stove to mm-hmm. cook, and eventually the stove fell into the floor, and so the guy just was like, "Huh, weird." I'm just going to leave this and use it as a source of heat. He just left the bucket in the hole in the stove for heat. Hey, man. Tough times in the Basque community. You know, you just... I you guess. You do what you got to do, right? Like, I'm... Because the thing is, like, they don't live in... I don't think they live in, like, huts. They live in, like... Like... I, when I you imagine, know. like, Spain, like... Right. Like, more, like, low-income, like, a house. Like, a house. Yeah. With but- a floor. Floor's a luxury. I mean, what are you going to say? The floor's a luxury. Yeah. I got dirt. You're, you're speaking from a place of privilege here, <laughs> you know? I should have checked my privilege. You should have. God, I forgot floors we are have such a privilege. a privilege. We have a privilege check at the door, and you, did, you just brought it you, right in here. The fact that you have a floor, and now you're not on the ground? Like, right. you're not grounded? Wow. Wow. I'm so up there. Wow. Privilege life much? Standing <laughs> on the floor and whatnot. <laughs> what are they, hardwood? <laughs> Your floor's not even made of plastic, bro? What, you don't even got linoleum? That's what I'm saying. No, no, not linoleum. Like, I'm talking trash. I'm talking like you take pieces of plastic as you find them and you just make little tiles out of your floor. You don't do that? Wow. Wow. Yeah. And you didn't even contribute to my GoFundMe. Yeah, I'm... (sighs) I'm sorry. I forgot there's people out there sleeping on the ground and I'm standing on floors. Yeah, and my GoFundMe was for an Xbox, which is worthless now. Thanks. (laughs) Xbox, more like X the box. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, <laughs> Where'd I leave off? I keep going on tangents. Yeah, so, so the guy had the bucket, of, flaming bucket of ice, and it, his oven collapsed right, into right. the floor, and he just left yeah. it. So after like another month, this stove ice thing keeps sinking deeper and deeper and deeper, and oh my god, this thing is making another hole. Oh. Yeah. At this point, Magic Seal Fetus ascends from the hole and was like, hey guys, I need that ice... The, I, the the fire ice back because okay. it will it will end the world if it keeps going. And he says it in Spanish with a lisp? Yes. Okay. Hola, es, Español, el bucket. This sounds like Daffy yeah. Duck. El, el bucket. <laughs> it seems there. like I need to get the bucket of ice. Yeah. I think ice is... What is ice? It's it frozen water. No, I know. In Spanish. <laughs> 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 is it is it Halo? Right? It is. Good job. Yeah. Nate, see, I took Spanish. Heel, but... heel, how do you say it? I Pronounce it for me, Google. How does AI say it? Yellow. Yeah. Yellow. Yellow. Anyway. Yellow. So he, he requested the bucket of ice. I'm assuming they got it for him. Yes. Uh they got you, it. You don't you don't say no. To a speaking magical seal fetus. Yeah, well, and he spoke telepathically, so you know it's oh, I impo- see. it's I see. very yeah. important. Yeah. He's on a whole nother Some wavelength. mind control in there, probably. Yeah. Give me the ice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I mean sure. it's literally I'm, destroying yeah. my house. Please take it. Yeah, I've, I have no reason to deny you this. I will buy a heater. Yeah. But he took it, and then that was the end. And he, then he went back on coast to coast and was like, this all happened. And he was like... Pictures, videos, he's like, yeah, they recorded all of it. They have pictures, I will bring, I'll call, and I will post them. He kept promising and promising, but kept not delivering. Mm. Until eventually, he claimed to have uh, stage four pancreatic cancer. Mm. Went back to the hole, cured his cancer. So So he claims. Lived to be 80. Did this guy actually have a meth lab on his land? Maybe. Was that not an idle threat (laughs) the government was making? (laughs) <laughs> Damn it, man! Yeah. The meth lab! It's like, but the hole. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's where the hole came from. You're about so, to be in a meth hole. The hole came from his last meth lab when it exploded. Yeah, and his teeth. And his, te- his teeth. The teeth! The teeth! The teeth! It all connects! <laughs> oh, oh, my man. God. But that's pretty much Mel's hole. And it's it, the reason people still talk about it and like, this guy's full of shit is because. There's they, they can't disprove him, but he's never mm-hmm. given them evidence to support it. Right. But given the time, putting that information out there when he was already being tracked down as hard as he was the first time he went on the air, I we people have a feeling that every time he would try to like put this stuff out there, he'd be stopped or offered something else or something else would happen and he mm-hmm. just wouldn't or say he forgot. What I'm curious about more than anything is if he shared 
either his address or like coordinates. Yeah, so, no, people know where it is. So have people gone and tried to like see and and seen fencing or whatever? So um, if you look on Google Maps now, the area is not blurred out, but people think it's photoshopped as to hide what's there. Mm. Um, also, fun fact, I learned Google doesn't blur the things on Google Maps. This made me so mad. Google doesn't blur the stuff on Google Maps. People do that. Anyone oh, yeah. can do that. Yeah, you can do I that. I thought Google did that. I no. thought you had to request to do that. No, you can do that. Or like if, like your own house. But like yeah. you can just go and blur anything with, True. without any like proof. Yeah, like, they don't care. Everyone's like, oh, why is this blurred on Google Maps? I don't know. Probably some teenager did it. Yeah. Like, you, you that, like throws that. arguments into, like, all, mm -hmm. anything, like, oh, why is this? But, like, number two, this spot blurred on Google Maps is driving the community off the rails. Yeah. That was. That was, that was AI TikTok voice. No. No, no that was, that was you don't person? know. No. You don't know ch the chills meme? No. He kind of, like, was at the beginning of, like, the scary top ten list trend. Like, uh -huh. he kind of, like, pioneered it. And, like. I see listicle videos and like just like I hate those videos like but he yeah, he had sure. just that that cadence he talked like that like mm. I don't know but he like lean once people started mimicking it he leaned into it so hard and monetized it and he he did he did very well he's can, a very funny guy can people have a punchable voice though yes okay I I had one for a long time well I'm I'm glad that that you no longer do I'm proud of you yeah apparently. You can hit. A, you can go through second puberty when you hit thirty. So I'm looking forward to my voice dropping I'm, again I'm and my penis getting longer. I'm thirty, and my second puberty is just more pain, emotional and physical. Yeah, the first puberty, it's like, oh, I smell weird. I have hair. The second one, a guy just comes and just punches you in the dick every morning, basically, and in the knees. Yeah, no, it's like it's like he takes a baseball bat to the backs of my knees and like the back of my neck, like. He just just trying to jack up your posture, basically. Yeah. Yeah. My or maybe it's just my posture is bad, and that's why. I mean, look, look at me. Look, I haven't even looked myself in the camera. Look at me. I look like, like I'm a gremlin, like my back like this. Yeah, but that's. I mean, it's fine. We're, it's fine. We're millennials. We're known for that. We're millennials. Yeah. We're cringe. Yeah. Hey guys, we're millennials. Yeah. If you forgot in the last five seconds, we're millennials. Hey, we refer to everyone as guys. Yeah. Is that not a thing anymore? Mm -mm. I'm so embarrassed. I mean, I it's that. not, it's, it's a thing, but it's, it's not as like, it's not as the norm as it was. It's like, well, we're not all guys here, so. Well, guys, it's just a general term, I know, though. I understand. I will fight I, anyone. I understand. <laughs> I grew up yeah, with you, you. and right. I said it my whole life. You're I right. will admit, I've used a lot of words I don't like, except the N-word, I've never said that. Good. I have, I, I, back at, like, when we grew up, like, we used the R-word. All the that, time. That we All should not time. have done. No, we, we shouldn't. Should not. We should but, not have done but that. But guys is such a, like, it doesn't even mean men. Yes. And the thing, the reason I'm saying it's not as, like, popular is because it's not bad. It's just, like, I'm trying to think of an example. Like, a word that's just not, it's like how the word piss has lost its sting. That's true. It's 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 kind of. Or like how even damn kind of is not, now. like. Yeah. It's, it's, it's not the same thing, but, like. Guys is so general now when everyone, I think whenever the cultural landscape is, everyone is their own thing. Mm -hmm. So we're not one word. Like, so that's so why, that's why y'all is definitively the best word. It's short and it describes everyone without gendering anybody. But I will argue neither does guys, right? Like the, the term doesn't necessarily carry a gender connotation except for what's been applied to it. But I see your point. In this society, as individualistic as it is, it's like, well, it's more important that I am an individual than that I am a collective, and therefore, yes. like, I don't want to be associated with other people that are not like me. So that makes I see where they're coming from with that. I disagree with it, but I, I see the point. And I I agree with you. I agree that I still I still say hey guys all the time. Like, do I change it up now? Because the reason I change it up now is because. Of that, I guess, culture, the cultural zeitgeist. Ah, hey! hey. <laughs> <laughs> it's because, like, when I say it, I get that thing in the back of my mind. It's like, oh, there might be somebody mm -hmm. who I'm saying this to who might go, hmm. Yeah. Or, like, just, because it's not, like, a bad thing to say, but it might make someone go, hmm, kind of weird. Why, why would, 
like people don't really say that anymore. Why do you still choose to say that? Like that's kind yeah. of the thing I have, I'm afraid of is people yeah. like judging me like, oh, he's still stuck to like some old passe way of saying something. Yeah, and I think just that's just part of getting and, older. And I think the fact that it is it I'm so I you know, I don't care if I piss you off. It's the fact that it is a gendered word. Not that it's a bad gendered word. I think the fact that it is it's like when you can replace it with a word like y'all that's just eliminates all of that entirely. Well, yeah. You're just avoiding any problems anyway. Like cuz you sure don't know enough. what you're saying Maybe it rubs someone the wrong way. And like, and that's not on you. Like, you don't know right. what that person like if you're not saying something inherently offensive hateful, yeah, right. to someone, like, like you you're you're not responsible for saying, like, hey guys, and that rubs someone the wrong way. But if they were to like say, like, hey, maybe like I didn't really like the way you said that, like the, I didn't really like how you used guys, like, because of like X XO XOXO reason. Yeah. <laughs> XOXO gossip, gossip girl told girl me reason, so. Right. Like, but like for this reason, and like yeah. I'm like, oh, sorry. Like I will try not to use it. Like maybe when you're here, I'll say something else. Like, yeah, sure. I mean, I'd be open to a discussion about it. But for it to be like, if you said the word guys, you're canceled. Like that's no, no, I, no, that's no, a, no, no. That's a, that's where I get. I no, like, it's I'm not like, that. Du- like dude, I like, think I, like and dude is another one, right? Like dude, I understand more than guys, honestly. But I feel like it's so weird because. You, I use dude with any any gender. That's I know, the but, thing. But so do I. But I feel like dude has a stronger gender connotation than guys does. I feel the opposite. I feel like guys specifically. But see, it's it's such a. But, like, I, but I know where you're no, coming from. There's no definition. We no, I know where you're coming you from. Know? Like, like in my head, I'm with you. I'm I'm yeah. in 2011 where I said, "Hey guys," and guys meant a general group of people. Right. And back, like also, like when the word gay just meant like you're stupid. Well, that was again that was, I, it's a little that's worse. Another one we a little stupid. We shouldn't have said. It's. I'm saying yeah. it's similar, and the fact I'm I don't. Bring, I don't like making the comparison. You know what? Okay. Let's not. <laughs> Let's take anyway, it back. You know what? We, we've been cut doing, the episode. Th- well, actually, this episode has been going on a long time. And I'm just we, saying, <laughs> language changes, slang right. changes, and right. I think just saying, "Hey guys," maybe it's even just related to millennial cringe, or just maybe, so. maybe it's a cringy word now. Maybe so, and that's why. And I, honestly. It kind of is because of the whole, hey, guys, like that in itself makes me not want to use it because of that. And I get that. And I get that. And that's why I intentionally, when I'm when I can, rather than try to keep up with the new words, because I don't know what they mean most of the time. I instead, as my own little act of rebellion, go back and use the very, very old words like horse feathers. That's horse feathers, friend. Means that's nonsense. I know, but why would that's a horse shenanigans? Have... Oh, because it the wouldn't horse have it wouldn't. feathers. But or a good thing that's the cat's pajamas. You know, ah, there's yeah. no negative connotation to a cat wearing pajamas who's very happy to be wearing those pajamas. You see, that cat's not happy to be wearing pajamas. That cat may be happy to be wearing pajamas. You don't know. You don't know the cat. That cat's not happy to be wearing pajamas. Okay, that's. I mean, the anyway. That I cat like, will I like, kill you. I like going the other direction using no, the older it. words it. because it. then it's like it gives you a little bit of whimsy, you know. And rather than cringe, you can be like the eccentric old guy instead of the. Middle-aged millennial. So that that's our episode. We, you know what? You know what we, can, we, you know what we can't up. smile because Gen Z falls for more internet scams than we do. So true. true. I was going to flip you the bird, but I'm not going to do that. So. We don't trust anyone. No, I'll say this: I am so excited for Gen Z to start, even like like our age people, like to start making like big things in the world. Like comparing this to video games. So back in the day when video games started, there's the pioneers. Shigeru Miyamoto, Nintendo, all those people, they mm-hmm. were making everything like, what is this new technology? So they mm-hmm. paved the way. When those kids grew up on those games, grew up, they mm-hmm. made games inspired by those games. That's why in the 2010s, there was that retro boom of like 8-bit, 8-bit games, retro games. True. All of those kids were grown up at that time making games that inspired them. Mm-hmm. The past decade, or past like, the, te- the 20 teens and like mm-hmm. even to now, these kids who grew up with like PlayStation 1 and 2 and like old polygon graphics, those types of like old school like 3D games are what's popular. Like low poly 3D games. That's interesting. And like pla- like 3D platformers. And yeah. Dude, 3D platformers were the freaking bomb yeah. in yeah. the early Yeah, and like 2000s. mascot games. Things yeah. that had like a character that you right. could attach or Crash cast. Bandicoot, dude. That was like, like the freaking best. Like they made a, f- a, a fourth one to the third one in the 90s. Right, exactly. And they called it It's About Time. Like, 
I'm yeah. s- and the thing about it is, and it all started was because I saw that stupid cop- coffee company called Come Coffee, and I'm <laughs> pissed off that they can just do that. Everyone's like, huh, that's funny. And nobody cares. If yeah. I were to do that back in the day, I would oh, get dude. shut down. Absolutely. I'm jealous of you because nobody cares anymore. You could call a store like Buttfuck Groceries, and everyone's like, huh, it's funny, and call it like, like B U T F U C Groceries. Yeah. And call it like Bootfook. Right. And, and that's fine. Like the guy that named his restaurant, I don't care. It's like, where yeah. do you want to go? I don't care. Cool. We're going to I don't care. Yeah. There's also the guy that uh, made not Starbucks. I love that. Or no, dumb Starbucks. It was dumb Starbucks. That's right. Yeah, whatever it was. And I was like, yeah, that's great. That's, that's perfect. so good. Yeah. Parody law. Yep. Anyway, that's that, the episode. This was a very um, long episode. It was. It was. So uh, definitely share this with your friends and uh, tell them to skip whatever parts you don't like. And just focus on the parts you do like and stay positive. Um, what do you think about Mel's hole? Was it all made up? Was Mel just a meth addict? Or is there really something to it? Should we go driving through the middle of America trying to find it? No, there's still a military presence there. You will be shot. Should we roll the dice? All right. Got a D20? No, I mean, like, by going there, we'll just we'll, we'll roll. We'll take our chances of being shot. I'm still going to roll when I get there because that will determine. Yeah, you do need Yeah, you need to roll for your initiative. That's Okay. Yeah. I'm anyway, kind of curious. We'll uh, we'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye. You can cut off here, but I want to roll real quick. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna take the hat off because with the headphones on, it's actually really hurting my head. I rolled a twelve. <laughs>